Brother ukikuwa juu ukiwa ni wako chini. Wako friend friend pia watu wanapenda God man because a leader is chosen by God. Hata mkiona mkiwaona wale wakubwa huko muambie wafuate ukweli. Na sisi raia sasa tumeerefuka. Hakuna mjinga Kenya hii. Kila mtu ameenda gumbara amejua 1 2 3. <laughs>
tushaona 10 years ago venye kumekuwa Kenya imekuwa ngumu sana in Kenya we, there is no job Kenya kuna job kwa ya ule mtu ajua kali sasa wale watu wenye wako juu ndio wanakula huko juu si wenye tuko huko chini tunabaki chini bado e, tunaendelea kuwa tuendelea chini tu bado sasa what yani kitu yenye tunatarajia nani ni ule ule mwezi mwenye atakuwa present atuinue mwenye wako chini apande juu ya yeah. kwa hivyo wewe shaamini ya Ruto yani kura yako inaenda na Ruto yangu ni ya Ruto peke yake okay eh mimi sioni kitu kingine sasa Ruto ndiye ata atakonga the in Kenya sasa ya yeah. okay all right sawa basi na kutokea kila la heri hata kwa job yako yeah. and i hope utapata hiyo change yenye una expect ya yeah, that's it true una expect ya yeah, that's it true salimia mafans wa channel eh sasa mimi na salimia mafans wote wa KTN Eh sasa mimi na salimia mafans wote wa KTN. Oh my god. Wow. Ah habari yako? Nzuri sana. <laughs> Baridi ndo inakuweka hivi habari nini? Hujachangamka. <laughs> ah ni vile tu Kenya iko. Oh Kenya ni nakupea baridi. Hebu oh, yeah. amia mafans changamoto zako kama mkenya i Kenya. By the way Kenya pia tunaendelea hatuendi poa. Mimi chenye naanza uliza uhuru. Ya, afanye tu juu chini. Angalia yule mwananchi wa chini. Angalia kama anaweza inuka juu hata ukiangalia hii Kenya vile tuko. Tunaenda pambaya sana. So wewe for instance unafanya kazi gani hapa umoja? Mi kazi yangu ni plumbing. Yaani ni plumber. Wewe ni plumber. Yeah. Okay, so uh, come next year kuna elections. Una plan ku vote? Mi nitapiga port. But kitambo nipige kwanza nitaangalia viongozi watakuwa wanagawania hiyo kiti. Mhm. atakuwa na njali wa maisha ya watu wa chini ndio mm -hmm. nitapotea. Ndio utapotea. So kwanza sasa bado uja make up your mind. Ah sija make mind hata juu wanakuja wanatudanganya akienda huko juu wanatusahau. <laughs> So sasa venye unasema maisha ni ngumu unajua kama before wanakuja wanapea vijana kitu kidogo sawa so, ukipewa hiyo utakubali ama utaona utafanyaje Najua mpaka nikubali Alafu <laughs> <laughs> kikubali wewe ndio unapea kura yako Hapana Eh Kwanza cheza chini ya maji Tunakula tunakula <laughs> lakini tun, siku ya uchanguzi tunafanya vile anataka Okay, eh yeah, si that mm. you nilimpatia pesa si lazima nikupotia. Eh, eh, eh. Nafanya vile na saa maamuzi yangu. Okay, so tunaweza sema watu wamekuwa wajanja sasa siku hizi. Eh, yeah, kwanza hao wanasiaza ni wajanja sana. Wanakuja wanadanganya, wakienda uh -huh. jua natusahau. Okay. Eh yeah, ni kama anakuanga anarudisha pesa yao. Aya, <laughs> <laughs> so wewe we, uyuko ka wewe uyuko mali Ruto ama nani wewe uja, uja decide? kwanza si huyo Ruto wako kwa hii serikali walidudanganya akatuambia more than 20 20 million youth Ehe. wataingia kwa kazi Ehe. hata mimi sina kazi sasa tunasimamishwa kazi Ehe. na sasa kama saa hii kuna pesa ilikuwa imesemekana imeibwa ya covid kuna hiyo pia wewe sasa unaona kama utapewa hiyo vaccine ama wewe utakaa tu kisoja mimi kikuja hiyo hiyo vaccine nadungwa lakini kaza kuiona vaccine shafika sasa nikiona kama daktari wanadunga watu eh nadungwa lakini kataa kuona mimi sitawatafuta mimi nitajipatiana kwa Mungu haya sawa asante sana wasalimia wa fans mimi nawasalimia nyinyi kama watu wa media wasalimia mmoja wa leba yote kama fans wote wataniangalia kwa hiyo okay sawa asante sana Alright guys that's what we have right now tunaendelea kukusanya opinions za watu tujue what are people thinking about the elections and also to some extent what do they think about the vaccine wase wa mtaa wamepata ama bado hawajapata so stay tuned kwa majina unaitwa nani mimi kwa majina yangu naitwa Francis Kisarago mm -hmm. yeah okay so Francis uh, sai IBC na inafanya uchaguzi wa commissioners wapya umekuwa ukifuatilia 
Yanafuatilia. Uh -huh. Yanafuatilia vyenye wanachaguana. Okay. Yeah. Na kuna maswali ambao wanauliza watu. For instance, kuna swali walikuwa wanauliza jana, wanasema kama wewe ni commissioner, uh, serikali inasema kuwa hata kama wewe ni commissioner pale kunafaa kuwa na tofauti kati yako na political parties. Unaona commissioner anafaa kuwa part of a political party ama anakuwa anafaa kuwa rafiki ya watu wa political party fulani. Haifai akuwe eh, rafiki ya party fulani. Haifai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, na so come 2022 wewe well, unaona kama utapiga kura? Kura ni, ni, ni hachi yangu nitapiga. Uh -huh. yeah. Na unaona utapea nani sasa wakati huu? Sasa hiyo ni siri yangu. Unajua sasa? <laughs> Tupatie ka club basi tuambie labda tupengine tutajua sasa mimi mwenyewe bado ninaangalia hapa viongozi venye wanapangana nitajua ikifika wakati hiyo ya kuvunja bunge nitajua ni nani nitapea kwa hivyo bado hujajua sijajua kwa sasa hivi sasa hivyo basi Ruto akipita hivi apita na kaelfu moja alafu uh, Odinga naye apita na watu wake inaweza kukuchanganya So unajua pesa ni kawaida Ruto tutakula na chini <laughs> sasa mwenye unapea <laughs> wewe mwenyewe ndio unajua Kwa hivyo ni, ni sawa kusema kuwa watu wamejanjaruka Watu wamejanjaruka sana Kwa hivyo utaeka kwa mfuko lakini ukifika kwa ballot box yeah. wewe unapanga kile yako Na change yake mind yangu Okay sawa so kwa vijana unaweza waeleza aje kwa sababu hii ni jambo ambayo imekuwa iki affect watu wengi sasa, When it comes to elections eh, sasa vijana vyenye nawaambia <coughs> Eh, wakichagua mtu waangalie sera za mtu wasiwe tu wanachagua mtu kwa sababu wameona ati mtu wamewachotea do sababu hiyo ukichotewa do na umchague sasa utakuwa umepotea kwa sababu hiyo mtu kitambo aingie hapo sasa ataingia ata hapo kitambo asanye hizo pesa zake zirudi wewe umeumia unaona so wafanye wa, 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 wachague na uchaguzi mzuri Yeah. Okay so Francis uh, swali la mwisho ni kuwa sasa hii kumekuwa na speculations watu wamekuwa wakisema watu wenye uso ma mambo ya elections wanasema kuna possibility next year watu wanaweza pigana maoni yako ni gani kwa hilo jambo Sasa vyenye watu wanaweza kupigana mm -hmm. ni uchaguzi ambao unaweza kuletwe yule si uchaguzi wa wa ukweli naona hapo vita nayo na itatokea lakini wananchi wana wenyewe hawatoangi vita ya yeah. wale tunachagua ndio wanaletaga vita ya yeah. ndio ikuje kwa watu wadogo kama sisi ndio haya sawa asante sana francis okay. yeah i've been keeping up with the see nomination of on a interview my commissioner sio ndio uh -huh. and I think they'll be heading the Department of elect Elections, especially, especially it and Bana. Uh, we are really seeking as youth, but uh, some fair elections, and it's, it's something that I wish that it occur swiftly. Now, what 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 I'm going to do? Okay. So, mm -hmm. do you think any changes will be made in the next upcoming elections? Changes should be there. Each and mm -hmm. every election should be always a change. In a far when evolve, in a far when I show, I say like. We are making a step for transparency and free and fair elections, of which I really hope that Wakipeocho, because I've been watching on Opata, like on on Ulzoma Solifiti, does not affect the, 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 the elections. So it would be very good that Waki nominate you on a president, na you time what I take all, na easy reform zote, kama registration of voters, kama kutakuwa na free and fair, iso electronics registration, nini, watu wamekufa, watu kikwa register, ikwe like kuna free fair and counting kwa ali like there's a lot that's going to be there and it's a good thing that our commission on za chaguliwa sai mapema tuanze kuchipanga una check na pia training ikwe ndio pia civil education because unapata kuna incidents like unapata ah sasa wanachaguliwa lakini wananchi wa believe that ah sasa kupiti unapata kuna wana community wa like bado una wish like ungekuwa na youth wanaenda ku uchagawa sasa lakini because hawezi na tumepatia watu relevant kwa chaguo story it is really 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 important that we release people that are very very integral na wako free and fair na pia watu wanapenda god man because a leader is chosen by god and yeah it serves god's purpose um, have you ever voted before eh hey, bana mimi vote mara mbili and i'm very happy mimi mzee bana 
Yeah, okay. I've ever voted and I really hope that the leader that I'm going to vote next is going to be a leader of change and a leader of power and atakuwa uh, like anafanya servant leadership and a servant na bado ana lead. Are you looking forward to participate in the next election? Yeah, but I want to vote bana because my vote is also my right and it's it's integral that whoever is watching anafa understand that ukikosa ku vote unakosa kuingiza maendeleo unataka juu that's why na kujanga na manifesto na pia kuna reforms kama wananchi wanakuja kuuliza so they need to see your opinion and yeah i'll vote who would you be voting for ah ha 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 because i just took a nomination wana power to nominate sawa basi so utaambia nini youth wenye maybe hawajawahi ku vote ah uh, so it's their time like right now to choose the leader they want because wananchi say wao wa wameamka they know what they wanafaa wafanye because kuna story za jobs kuna vitu mingi zinatoa effect kuna covid mm-hmm. kuna story za jobs kuna story za security infrastructure we need to be growing at least kwa tunajita sini Kenya na bado tunakan kama comfort world bana na we need to be growing we should be a growing nation mm-hmm. uh, a nation that has, that is that is passionate that mm-hmm. what patriotic what are ready to serve you know na na you know we be happy you know because nikipata pia bistanga kwa na job na pia mimi niko na job nation maisha nzuri Mm-hmm. Okay, sasa kwa majina wanakutambua kama nani? Kwa majina yangu wananitambua kama Felix Shumwe Ndakalu uh-huh. kutoka kaunti ya Kakamega. Oh, kwa hivyo wewe umekuja ku Nairobi? Mimi nimekuja ku Nairobi. Oh, na Nairobi ulikuja mwaka gani? Nimekuja mwaka wa 87. Na saba. Eh, kwa hivyo umegonga maisha huku? <laughs> Okay so uh, now sasa za tuwe umekuja kuishi Nairobi na Kakamega yeah. umeona ni tofauti gani ya maisha kati ya hii Kanairo tunaita Kanairo umesikia Kanairo Kanairo ndio nasikia kwako <laughs> <laughs> So huko ni Kanairo si ndio Ni huko ni Kanairo uh, So difference ya Kanairo na Kakamega maisha tofauti ni gani Ah uh, tuseme kulingana na maisha ya kitambo na saa hii uh-huh. ya saa hii ni mzuri kiasi Uh-huh. kwa maana kutokana kwa utawala wa Kimbaki. Uh-huh. Kwa maana mwangaza mingi tumeona kuanzia kwa utawala wa Kimbaki. Uh-huh. Mm, hata vitima uh-huh. kienda saika Kamega ni kama Nairobi. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Haya so sahi IBC wanachagua makomishona wapya. Ndio au makomishona waweze ku replace wale ambao wali resign mm. last election. Umeko ukifuatilia hiyo process? Ninafuatilia. Uh-huh. Saa hii kulingana na katiba ya saa hii uh-huh. wanafanya kazi vizuri. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kwa maana kwa vile Maraga ali alichukua hiyo kiti yake na kasimamia ukweli hata wengine wanachakuliwa inafikiria watafuata hiyo ukweli wa maraga kwa maana tunaona dalili vile inaendelea umeona venye wamekaziwa huko wamekaziwa na wale wanakaziwa wanajaribu kufuatilia ukweli okay yeah. Haya, na sasa we kama mwananchi wa kawaida unaona hizo elections hizo interviews venye zinaenda na unaona wanakaziwa lakini kuna wakati mwingine wakati wa elections kifika pale katikati tunasikia eh usiji aliiba nani aliiba unadhani shida iko wapi uh, kulingana na katiba ya saa hii sasa wamerefuka hata kama wizi itakuwa itakuwa kama mbeleni kwa maana hata tulisikia maraga akisema ukaujakusi hii itakuja atapindiwa system itakuwa ile ya zamani mm. kwa hivyo tuko na imani mabadiliko itakuwa mzuri okay. na pengine labda uambie wananchi wewe kura yako unaona utapea nani kura yangu nitapatia Ruto ule anaangalia maslahi ya raia eh eh si wale mabroka tulikuwa tunajua Raila ni broka tulikuwa tunafikiria Raila anatetea sisi wanyonge kumba anaangalia mali iko unono mm, akakuwaja kwa mataa na wewe uoni kama unasaliti mtu wa kwenu asiwezi saliti mtu wa kwetu na naongea ukweli wangu mm, kwa vile mimi naona tunaona so, sasa mimi nilizaliwa mwaka wa 60 na saba na wale wale wana wako kwa uongozi tazaza tumejua ukweli wao 
wamejulikana. Wamejulikana? Uh -huh. Eh. Hey. So kuna rafiki yako hapa amesema hata wakapita Ruto apite hapa na Raila apite hapa kila mtu aache tao zao. Wewe utakula lakini ukifika kwa ballot box unajipanga. Oh, wakati nitafika kwa ballot nitajipanga nipatie ule anatetea sisi wanyonge. <laughs> eh. Hey. Okay, so. Kama asola. Uh -huh. Eh hey, sasa wale wanasema Ruta ameiba. Hakuna ule ajachanyakuwa huko. Mm -hmm. hey, wote ni line moja. Kwa hivyo ushaamua. Ah mimi nimeshaamua ule anasaidia wale wajiwezi. Huyo uh -huh. ndio nitakufa naye. Okay. Yeah. Haya sawa. <laughs> jambo la mwisho kwa ambao wana watch. Yeah, jambo la mwisho wale na watch. Eh hata mkiona mkiwaona wale wakubwa huko muambi wafuate ukweli mm -hmm. na sisi raia sasa tumerefuka hakuna mjinga Kenya hii kila mtu ameenda gumbara amejua 1 2 3 <laughs> All right guys so mmesikia mambo ambao watu wa umoja they have to say about it sijui kura yako utapea nani na sijui kama umekuwa ukifuatilia uh, mambo ambayo yanaendelea ya IBC but keep it tuned tuendelea ku discuss more and let us know what you think about the upcoming elections stay tuned